Hey guys, what's up? Chris Copel from E Juice Makers and the Mixed Life Crew. Here to talk to you today about some short fills that I got sent by Danny James, who's the business development manager over at Decadent Vapors. Um, short fills are a thing um, for those of you in the U.S. that are like um, <clears throat> sort of like a bridge the gap between one shots and uh, finished commercial juices, right? So they're a finished juice, um, it's zero, mil zero milligrams. And they come in what they call a short fill bottle, which is just a bottle that's filled uh, most of the way. I mean, this one's got the better example. I've already uh, filled these back up and then and vaped on them some, but so they come uh, filled basically about about that full with a, a finished juice, uh, and they have about that much space in them for you to add nicotine to. So they all come in zero milligrams, and you need to dilute them a little more uh, to vape them. So you can, uh, if you vape zero milligrams, you can just add more PG or VG. Um, or you can add your your 10 or 10 mil um, nicotine shots that, um, to finish it off and have a have your three milligram or six milligram juicer however you prefer it. So um, for starters here, we'll start with the uh, the Tropic Bongo. I'm gonna see if I can get a good shot of the uh, labels here. They're really gorgeous labels. Um, some uh, fantastic kind of uh, classic British style art there and I'll read the description real quick it's a heavenly hedonistic blend of fresh bananas coconut and tropical botanicals made especially to alleviate his lordship's fatigue on his grand tour so the banana in this uh, is worth noting because it's one of the most authentic banana vapes I think I've ever tried uh, the banana is like a really soft ripe banana it's not candyish at all it's not cloyingly sweet um, and the other tropicals uh, are balanced around it really well. The coconut is super mild, and uh, it just it just blends really well with the banana. Um, and then I get a bit of like musky pineapple, and maybe a bit of like uh, mango peel, a little bit of a little bit of green peel in there. Not not it's not um, it's not invasive, and it doesn't take away from the profile. I think it's a really nice addition. The banana and the coconut are definitely right up in the front, and then I get a little bit of that kind of juicy pineapple muskiness to it, and then um, that that just a just a hint of peel at the end of there. It's uh, it's not bitter at all. It's it's really good. It adds kind of to the freshness and authenticity of the overall profile. I think it's a really well executed and very well balanced uh, tropical flavor. So if you're into tropical flavors at all, uh, check out check out Tropic Bongo from Decadent Vapors. Uh, it's really excellent. So let's get some, some of this stuff off our wicks so we can try the next one. After I vape, uh, vape it a few times, I get a little bit more of the coconut and the banana kind of starts to, to fade a little bit. And I don't know if that's just like a olfactory fatigue thing or what. But it's still It's still there, it's just not as um, forward on the repetitive vape. I can still vape this pretty much all day. So yeah, mad props. Um, it's a delicious, delicious tropical flavor. Let's uh, let's move on to our our next adventure here. So the next up we have uh, is a strawberry bonbon. You can see it's like uh, some. Like hot air balloons, strawberries floating around in the clouds there. Again, some really wonderful uh, label art. And then we'll go over the description here. Uh, savor the classic British taste of sweet strawberry toffee with a sprinkling, sprinkling of perfectly pink powdered sugar coating. The British classic that's fit for his lordship's secret sweetie drawer. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Let's uh, get a little bit of this on our wicks here. Uh, this one surprised me. Um, I've historically always really struggled with strawberry flavors, and I'm usually not able to taste strawberry um, in vapes really at all, um, partially due to the way they're constructed um, from the ground up, and I don't know, partially just because I can't. I'm not really sure. So the toffee um, smells really forward, right off the right out of the bottle or right on the 
right after a fresh drip here. And I don't smell very much strawberry. It's really good. I, uh, it's a really good toffee flavor. Um, the strawberry is still a little a little hidden, but I can taste it. Um, and it, I taste it better than I taste most other strawberry vapes. So there's something to be said for that. So I think that people who are less sensitive to strawberry flavors um, or more sensitive, as the case may be, who don't struggle with tasting strawberries as much as I do, I think we get a lot more strawberry out of it. Um, and the toffee flavor is really nice. It's a little dark, um, but it's still really nice. It's not cloyingly sweet. Um, it's just like the right amount of like rich toffee and it's a little dark and there's a hint of like kind of that same kind of hint of like um, like bitter dark chocolate almost at the end of the toffee vape there it's really And I get a little bit of that that sh the powdered sugar uh, dusting at the end. Um, that's really quite surprising. And again, it's not it's not uh, cloyingly sweet. It's just sweet enough to keep you coming back, but not so sweet that it kind of wears out your taste buds. So that's a trend that I see a lot with commercial juices, um, and I usually struggle with it. But these are definitely not uh, overly sweet, but still plenty sweet enough for me. Overall, really very good. Good strawberry and a rock solid toffee. One of the best toffees I think I've had in a long time. Um, and toffee flavors aren't something you see. They're not very common, um, at least not here in the United States. So uh, it's definitely a nice change of pace. So let's uh, let's move on to our final uh, final review for the day. This is the uh, Decadent Vapors Chalky Waki Moo. Um, it's a milk chocolate vape. Let's see if I can do the light there get a better picture of this label here and I'll just drop it right in front of the camera it's perfect guys so like I'm gonna not edit that out though so it'll be fun All right so we got a little bit of some boats like airship type thing going on there pretty cool I love the artwork on these uh, my camera doesn't pick it up nearly as well as I'd like but um, they're really cool super cool labels uh, I really enjoy them so it's uh, take your taste buds on a luxuriant jaunt, luxuriant jaunt to our ritzy, rich, hot, chocolatey, milk, milky river sprinkled with the flotsam of velvety marshmallows. Even more comforting than a hug from his lordship. So let's, let's get a little bit on the wicks here. Um, all right, this one I had to hide before I could... Uh, do the reviews because I knew it wouldn't last very long. Chocolate vapes don't last very long in our house and they're pretty popular. So right off just the smell that that milk chocolate is bright, <coughs> very clear. And that is a really excellent chocolate flavor. Um, I'm assuming these are all built with just decadent vapor concentrates alone, so um, if that's anything to speak for their, their chocolate flavorings moving forward, I'm looking forward to working with those. They're going to be really fun. That milk chocolate is excellent. Mm. And the, the marshmallow is super interesting because marshmallow flavorings... Um, tend to be good on the marshmallow flavor, but not on the like the texture, right? Not on the, the body. Just have a really nice, authentic marshmallow body to it. So um, but it's a really excellent uh, finish to the milk chocolate. I think it's, it's really good. I get a little bit of cakey grain uh, going on in there with uh, that bitter chocolate, dark chocolate uh, end. Overall, three really excellent short fills. Um, I'll definitely be checking out the rest of them um, sometime here in the near future. And if you have the opportunity to pick up some from Decadent Vapors, I'll have a link in the description below. Um, thanks again, Danny, for sending these samples out for us to, 
check out and review. Um, I'm looking forward to working with a lot of these concentrates that you guys send as well. They're um, very exciting. Some of them are really incredible. So be watching our channel for uh, more reviews, more flavor reviews, and uh, maybe some more juice reviews too. If this um, if people would like to see that, uh, I'd be happy to do some more flavor or juice reviews. So with that being said, thank you again, Decadent Vapors and Danny James for sending out these samples. Uh, I really appreciate the chance to work with them. It's been really fun doing these reviews and uh, looking forward to doing a whole lot more. Cheers, guys.